I'm going to attempt to show you how to make um, a basic box. I don't know what else to call it because I haven't seen a name for this thing. And um, I do apologise for the space that I'm giving you to look at. I haven't got a lot of space because I've had a new boiler fit in. Everything's in uproar. I'm trying to work from a small bench. But anyway, you're not interested in all that. Um, what I don't normally do is, I, I don't normally show you what I use to, to do things, uh, to make things. And uh, these are the objects that I've been using to make to, to make what I'm, I'm going to make today. And uh, <coughs> I've got a little stand, what I call a stand knife. You can use whatever you like. Uh, it's only one millimetre card I'm using so it doesn't need to be overweight. I mean, I don't like using all for knives to cut any kind of card, I always use a heavy knife. So that's that's one thing I use. Uh, I use a, usually use a, a white pencil now because I've, I've bought them and I think they're really good for looking on, especially on dark things. Um, I use a half inch piece of card which is good for measuring uh, half inch bits when you haven't got the bits and pieces you need I just slip it on and it's a half an inch and it's, it's quite handy um, I use an alpha knife um, which is a, a Japanese thing I always thought it was Swedish or something but it's not it's Japanese and uh, I rather like them they're, they're, they're favorites for me uh, I've been use I use a pencil normally but I've been using a pen colored pen so as you can see the markings that I do and uh, steel ruler. Um, I use a Teflon folder. Um, I rather like Teflon because it doesn't leave a shine on the paper. You, you can rub the paper and it doesn't shine. It tends not to make the paper shine and nothing sticks to it. So it's admirable if you go over glue and things like that you can wipe it off really easily. And uh, it doesn't leave a shine like a bone folder does. I'm, I'm quite enamoured with this. I use it for just about everything. You probably shouldn't but I like the square edges on it and I like the feel of it and it's very dense and it's quite heavy and that is a very pleasant thing to use and uh, they are rather expensive though I mean you, you don't need half of this kit that I'm showing you it's just I'm showing you what I use this is a homemade piece of kit which I've shown on just about every film that I ever make and it's um, P60 rough on one side and 120 fine on the other so the higher you go the finer the, the cut and that's rough and that's smooth and you just stick it onto a piece of wood you've cut off and you can, I use it for everything I even use it for my nails believe it or not you, you, you can do your nails <laughs> with it anyway I use these things as well which are uh, little triangles out of a kid's kit from school you get a mathematics set and you get these two triangles inside I think they cost me about 190 for the pair and you get a, a compass and they're, they're very cheap but they're handy for looking you can see through the things when you when you're using them and they're handy for small corners and things you don't have to use that you can use a, a ruler a, a, I've got a six inch ruler as well which I used to use quite happily it's just that's that's the thing that I do use if I'm going to show anybody. So that's that's the that's the implements I use, and uh, I'll just move them out of the way. I've got I'm using my old computer desk here. This is my old computer because my new one I had to put it out of the way, and um, I'm going to try and make this as short as possible. I don't want to go into them. I make marathons, me. And what you need is. I don't know about Kellogg's boxes and things like that. You can use them, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know whether they stick on one side because one side shiny. But this is one millimetre card which I bought from from Amazon, and um, I think there's about thirty sheets in it. It's quite cheap. Yeah, Amazon. And you, you, you look for one millimetre card on the net, and you, you get loads of it. It's it's very handy. And it's just cheap old stuff, and it saves you running the bottom, and it's all the same size. And the only thing you can really use it for is anything below a B6 book. Now this is what I call an A5 book. It's half the size of an A4. You can see there when I put them on. So you get two of them onto one card. And it just about fits. And what I've done, I've done the dimensions on the inside. 
I don't know if you can see that. And you can see I've got written on a one millimeter card and I've got this as the base and what you do is you place the book on what you're going to make the box around. I don't do any measuring, there's no measuring. And um, you place it on and get it as, as still as you can. And then you draw around it. And I'll use my pen so that you can see it. You won't see the pencil. Once you've done that, what you do is yeah, you cut off the excess card, what you don't need after you've been around the book. As I say, there's no measuring as such. And uh, if you've got rather a bumpy edge on it, like I've got here, I've got raised bands on this side of the book. I don't know if you can see that. So just put the ruler down on the edge like that and then draw a straight line so it takes in all the extra little bit that you need and then once you've drawn the lines you need just over the inch and you'll find you've just got about enough for an A5 book on each side just over and I've got a little bit marked off there which I'm going to cut off because that's excess so we should be the same all the way around the book and the base should be like so in the middle so you've got the size of the book and it will fit in there quite happily and also the extra will take in the amount of paper that you're going to put on and uh, what I do then is I'm doing this rather quickly because it's it's so bloody simple this what I do is I cut off the ends now I haven't got a lot of room so you'll have to think you'll have to bear with me to see this I'll see if I can get in a bit further I cut off the little squares at the end be as careful as you can because these are the bits that are going to join together what I'll do I'll switch off there and I'll, I'll go and cut them all off so as you can see what I'm doing I'm cutting out the the ends on each corner so there's an inch there an inch there an inch there and an inch there this is for this book though I mean any other book if the, if the books a little bit higher or a bit a bit lower you'll find you'll have to do this will be a different size cut and this will be a different height as well but you can't go too much because this is only A4 paper if you want to go bigger than this you've got to get bigger card I'm only talking about A4 card at the moment so I'll stop there and then I'm just wasting things Okay, well I've cut off the bits and um, <clears throat> and um, you can see the bits I've took off. One, two, three. That's the four corners. The little bit along the edge that was a bit long and the large piece there so there isn't much card I've wasted and that'll be even less on the other side because this is just this is the base of the box it's a bit smaller and then, then what you do then once you've cut the corners and you'll find if you've cut them uh, you'll find that the measurements are, are, are quite are quite good actually they're going quite well all the corners fit quite well no measuring at all, none whatsoever, you just measure to the size of the book and if you want to you can off, what I've done is put the ruler on and I use my bond folder, I mean you can use anything you like, you can use a, an embossing tool or whatever you want, anything special or whatever you like that's got a, it's got a, a reasonable end on it and I, I, 
I use the blunt end of this and I just pull down like so to score it, emboss it and then push it over and that saves you messing. If there's any broken edges on the end this is where my little thing comes in I can clear that up after so there's no problem there and any raised edges or anything that it's any imperfections I can use the, that to clear that up as well. So you, you just bend them over once you've scored them and there you've got a basic box and if you want to you can offer your book up but you know it's going to fit because you've left a little bit in excess for the front in any case. So there's your book in and you'll find that and there's a little bit at the top if you want to put an insert in like uh, uh, some nice paper at the bottom, some uh, soft paper and some soft tissue paper at the top and also it gives you room to when you put the, you're going to put some more paper on the inside and some more paper on the outside so it's going to be a little bit thingy so it's going to be an extremely good fit um, I hope you can all see this properly and it's built to the size of the book you can't do it any bigger than A5 though A A5 is your limit and depending on what else depends on if it's more than half an inch you're going to be in a lot of trouble because um, you won't have enough on the size of the, the, the paper to get in what you want to do so I should stick to A5 books unless you bought lots of this paper I suppose you can buy it in big sheets I, I haven't bought it in big sheets and I, know, I don't make books much bigger than this size in any case and this was just something I was trying and I, I did put on if anybody wants to see it um, I will show them it and I got a response immediately just about and I thought I'd better go on and do it Anyway, so the next thing I've got then is I've got two pieces of coloured paper which is just um, A4 paper and it's uh, 80 GSM grams per square metre and uh, what you do is I'm going to stop in a minute but you lay the box down like so and this goes on the front of the card where you've rolled it in so you're going to turn it over and then stick it on and the next shot you'll see is that I'm going to now stick this piece of card to this piece of paper but you can do it before if you wanted to you could have done the, the whole thing beforehand if you'd so wished but I've done it after just to show you what I do and um, I'll turn off now and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's all been glued together and set. Yeah, I'm just just gluing the paper, yellow craft paper, 80 GSM paper, to the back of the board, making sure I've got no bubbles because it'll bubble like heck. So make sure all the bubbles are out of it. And uh, you place it well it doesn't matter which way you place it but you're going to have to bend it again if you don't place it on the bends that you've put in so where you've bent it in you put the bends down so I've put all the writing that I had on the inside is now on the that side and I've had to write on the back for you the base of the box again because this is the base box um, so I'm going to have to wait for that to dry I'm doing as quick as I can I don't want to I don't want to be as lengthy as I can because this is so bloody simple it's ridiculous and this is just to line the box well you can use any any paper you want I've just pick, I've picked yellow but you'll see further on in the video that the paper that I'm using is not the same as this because when I made the video originally I put in them um, they were just for my own benefit I didn't think anybody would be interested and uh, I got an immediate response for people wanting to to see what I'd done so I was quite surprised quite pleased really and uh, Anyway, I'm doing my best, so, and I'm in sort of limited circumstances here, for which I hope you'll forgive me. Um, I haven't got to the room that I need, but anyway, I'll stop there and make it as quick as I can. And uh, you can see I'm going to do the same to the other, the other piece as well in a minute, but I need that box to measure up for this box, because that box will be a little bit bigger because this is the lid, or what I've called the, uh, the top of the box. And... Uh, I'll allow that to dry so we'll stop there for the minute. 